Hello all, welcome to my channel Dinesh SFDC. As we all are aware of Salesforce multi-factor authentication that will ask for user approval from the authenticator app that is available in the Play Store while logging into the Salesforce. Up to now this has been an optional, like users can, uh, admin can enable this feature or disable this feature as per, uh, as per the org needs. But in the upcoming release updates, the Salesforce is going to auto-enable this multi-factor authentication forcefully. Uh, like they are going to make this multi-factor authentication it's, it's like a verification method they are going to make this as a permanent part of the login process even once the salesforce enables this multi-factor authentication even the admins won't be able to disable this feature in your org uh, you can find whether your org is, org is uh, getting this update in the next release in the setup uh, there will be a, there will be a thing called release update you can search in the setup you will find whether your org is uh, getting this update in the next release or not if you do if you do not found then your org may get in the later releases um, users who are already using the multi-factor authentication they will not face any challenges but users who are not using this multi-factor authentication they will be prompted to register for multi-factor authentication when they log in they won't be able to access the salesforce until they register for it but here the issue is we may like we, we may have some accounts that they mm, we want to exclude uh, those user accounts from the multi-factor authentication like there will be some accounts that are used by the testing team like there it will be like a shared credentials thing like a, a user account will be used by two or three people so we want to bypass or skip this multi-factor authentication for that account how can we do that so for that purpose salesforce has given as a, per, a special permission that can we can assign it to that user account so that it will bypass the multi-factor authentication for them today i will show you that how to do it and i have logged into my salesforce first me let me log out and show it won't ask me any multi-factor authentication as i haven't enabled this in my orgs When I click on login, it logged in without asking any multi-factor authentication or some anything. So I'm now turning on the multi-factor authentication. You can just uh, search for identity verification. And you just check this checkbox, require multi-factor authentication for all direct URI logins to Salesforce or and hit on save. Now the multi-factor authentication is enabled in my org. Let me log out. Let me log in again. Now it is asking an appro uh, approval from my authenticator app. Let me grab my phone and approve it. Yeah, I got a notification and I'm approving. Done. This this thing they are going to make as a permanent part of the login process. So now it is okay uh, i have my mobile phone i have set it up on my on my mobile phone i approved it instantly but what if this account is used by a group of people like three two or four like shared credentials we can't task to approve every time right so there is a, we can create a permission set for it let me create the permission set and assign this permission set to that user so that he will not be asked for the approval from multi-factor authentication let me create a new permission set. MFA exemption. License. Here you can give if the users are like a group of accounts that have a particular license, you can give that license so that it will this will be applicable. This uh, permission set will be applicable to that prof, uh, that user licenses. Go to system permissions. And here you can search for uh, wave. Yeah. Wave multi-factor authentication for exempt users. This is under uh, system permissions only. You can in a, check this checkbox. See, here it has written disable MFA challenges on direct UI logins for users or org that aren't required by Salesforce to use multi-factor authentication. It's nothing but skipping the multi-factor authentication. So let me edit this. and enable this and hit on save it 
save. And the permission set is created. Now I need to assign this permission set to myself. Manage assignments. Add assignment. You need to select the users to whom this permission sets needs to be assigned. I am selecting myself so that I can skip the multi-factor authentication which is asking now while logging. Click on next. Assign. No expiration date. Success. Done. Now let me log out and check whether it is asking multi-factor authentication or not. That's it. It is not asking multi-factor authentication for me. Even you can do it at the profile level also. Go to profile. Like if a, if a group of users are using the same profile, you can give this permission at the profile level itself so that this multi-factor authentication is excluded for that users. You can search for not uh, found. Yeah, wave multi-factor authentication for you. You just check this checkbox for that profile, and uh, the users who are already having this profile, they will be excluded from approval from the authenticator. Like, yeah.